And so Harkin defied a god. He cast the rune aside and struck Antanas down using only his sword. And in the end, he cast that rune aside, restoring the forces of the world back into balance. Harkin found the balance even between the power of his sword and magic, using both means to defeat all manner of Rogar lords and man-made creatures. He chose a path of efficiency, helping the ones who could help him and slaying those who stood in his way. Harkin proved himself to be a warrior, not a scholar. The secrets of this world did not interest him even when they were only an arm's reach away. He chose to turn a blind eye to Antanas's dark experiments. Because of Harkin's ruthlessness, Yetka faced a bleak future alone, her only chance to reunite with her family gone. The crafter's crystal was returned to him. He went back to his dimension travels and studying the runes. Harkin sealed the fate of both realms for many years to come. Historians of the future will forever wonder what the world could have been if Harkin's choices had been different.